People yawned this morning when Spain reported a robust purchasing manager index signaling that Spanish manufacturing is the strongest it's been in two and a half years. They should stop yawning. Europe's been written off as a growth wasteland for years and years. Nobody expects anything from their economy, even as we've already gotten free rate cuts from the European Central Bank, taking rates to three and a quarter, more than a point below us. In fact, there's now good growth all across Europe with excellent growth in the southern rim, which includes Portugal, Italy, and Greece. I understand why people ignore Europe. It's been a place where companies would regularly miss their numbers. The cards seem stacked against you, and it's been that way for more than a decade. And it's still not good in Germany because of the war in Ukraine and because it's so auto-based. But this continent of 750 million people, twice our market size, is now percolating. We're seeing company after company put up better than expected European numbers. Yet no one seems to notice, thanks to a combination of, I don't know, and we in disbelief, but sooner or later, Wall Street's going to wake up to the fact that Europe is back. First, Europe had been under bank since March of 2023, when Credit Suisse collapsed during the mini-bank crisis. But then along comes Banco Santander as an international bank with lots of business. Anna Bouti, the chair and executive director, who was on our show recently, put it fantastic numbers. That told the tale of a continent that's waking up. Then after the close Thursday, we saw amazing European numbers from both Apple and Amazon. I couldn't believe there was no analyst attention here, especially for Apple. Europe was the only real positive standout. As for Amazon, it's been toying for more than two decades to make Europe work. This was the inflection quarter. They made $1 billion in Europe. I know that's a, not a lot to the size of Amazon, but that's why it's important to note that when Amazon finally goes positive in a region or a division, that begins the process, begins it of making billions of dollars. They'll be taking advantage of the bigger market population-wise as the number of users gets bigger. Truly incredible that Amazon stuck with Europe for so long, but they're big thinkers and it's finally paying off. In the meantime, there's so many companies that think that the big China turn is right around the corner. How anyone believes that is truly incredible. Every stimulus plan from the Chinese government so far has been a bust. American companies routinely being harassed by the authorities. It is a real bad place to do business. Yet all I ever hear is that things are about to get better in China. I say these businesses that have stayed in the PRC better have a game plan for a Trump victory tomorrow because I think it'll become a lot more difficult for American companies to operate over there. The Chinese Communist Party as always thinks that they got us over bow because they look at outfits like Estee Lauder, which repeatedly miss numbers and ultimately have to cut its dividend courtesy of the Chinese cosmetics market never coming back. They seem convinced that they own us and their market is too big to ignore. Uh, ignore I say, hold on. I say, forget China. Go to Europe. That's where the money is. Like I said, as always, bull market summer. I promise I'd find it just for you right here on Mid Money. I'm Jim Kramer. See you tomorrow. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.